please, can you help me find my way out of this place? What is your name? In life, my name was Kalen. Why are you here? I don't know. I sensed that I was sent here to find something that I lost or learn something that I didn't know. It's odd and difficult to explain, but I have been wandering here for a very long time, searching for a way out. What did you do in life? I was a thief. But it was okay, because I only stole from people who could afford it. It's okay to steal from the rich. It doesn't hurt anyone. Besides, I had to feed my children. That's not true. Stealing is wrong. How is it wrong? For one thing, you're lying to yourself. Well, perhaps it was a bit of justification on my part, but no one really got hurt. You must be responsible for yourself, not prey on others. Well, I realize that, I guess. It's just that, well, life is very difficult, and this was the easiest way for me. You're teaching your children to become criminals. You're right. I think I've known this all along, but didn't want to admit it to myself. Perhaps that is why I was always afraid to consult the Book of Truth. I didn't want to know the truth. Do you know where the Book of Truth is? Oh, yes. If you want to find the Book of Truth, you must consult the Oracle in the Lyceum, which is in Moonglow. Be careful, though. The Oracle asks questions that require you to face unpleasant truths about yourself. I'm glad that you've come around. Yes, I feel that my search is at an end. Very well, then. Goodbye. Thank you. I can finally ascend from this place. Goodbye. Are you filled with grief? Is that why you roam amongst the lost souls? Good spirit, what is your name? I was known as Elizabeth. Lady, why do you grieve? I grieve because I lost my baby girl. I neglected her when she was alive. I felt not love for her and cared only for my pleasure. When she died due to my neglect, I was overwrought with grief. And I didn't know why I was so saddened. Finally, in despair, I took my own life. And yet I grieve. And with that grief remains the riddle. Why do I grieve? Why am I so sad? I do not understand. All that I know is that I cannot leave the place that torments me so. Are you tormented by your loss? I am tormented by my baby's cries. Her cries fill me with grief. I want only to find her, and yet I know not why. Perhaps you grieve because you loved your daughter. Love? What's love? Why do people talk of it? Tell me what love is. I can't tell you what love is, but perhaps your baby could. How can a baby show me what love is? I'll bring her to you and then you'll see. Yes, please bring me my baby. I want to have her back.
Say, uh, do you think it looks like rain? I was considering washing my ox cart this afternoon. <laughs> oh, well, no matter. It will surely rain right after I wash it. <laughs> well, good day to you. I wanted to be Mathis the Mage, but alas, I died before I could learn the magic arts. I'm the Avatar. Oh, wonderful. Another brave warrior. You're here to torment me for certain. Why would I want to hurt you? Because I'm not a warrior like the rest of the boys. I never wanted to be a warrior. I wanted to go to Moonflow and study magic. So the other boys bullied me and hurt me. I spent all of my life afraid and it is no better here. Fear not. I'm a friend. A friend? I don't believe you. I've never had a friend before, because I didn't want to be a warrior. They said that I was a coward. And what's the use in being brave, anyway? I've seen brave boys go off to their home gang before and never come back. That's why when I was sent on my home gang, I fled the village and never went back. What is a home gang? It's a stupid test of bravery that's supposed to mark a boy's transition into manhood. Each boy's home gang is different. Mine was particularly dangerous. So when I was sent off, I just ran away. I didn't want to go back, and I don't understand what's so important about courage. I just left and tried to go to Moonglow. How did you die? I was attacked and killed by wolves on my way to Moonglow. Where is your village? It's just to the northwest of you. Did you know that your village was destroyed by goblins? What? Your village was destroyed by goblins. Had you stolen their totem, like you were sent to do, the goblins would not have attacked your village. Did anyone survive? No. All of this time I thought myself so superior. Now everyone is dead because of me. Had I not been afraid, the village would have been spared. I should have been brave enough to go through with my home gang. I now understand why I couldn't leave this place. I was there to finally learn the lesson that I could not learn in life. Oh, if I were alive, I would make the pilgrimage to the Bell of Courage like so many of my village did. You know where the Bell of Courage is? Yes, it's in the sunken ruins of Serpent's Hole, just southeast of the coast of Trinzen. You should go there and see it sometime. Would you do that for me? Since I cannot, I must descend from this place now and rest. If you go, beware. An evil archmage is said to lurk there. 
Thank you, and farewell. Sorry, can't talk right now. I'm sorry. I'm far too busy to chat right now. Idea, sir. My baby, you have my baby girl. Oh my goodness, I am so happy to have her again and to hold her again. Why didn't I feel this way when we both lived? Oh, to feel her spirit so close to mine. To hold her to me. A void has been filled. I feel whole now. Oh, thank you, kind sir. What you feel is love. I never felt this when I was alive. I never understood it until I lost my baby and you brought her back to me. Now I understand the reverence that the people gave to the candle of love. You know of the candle of love? I know that the secret of the candle is guarded by the monks who reside in the cathedral. I, I really don't know any more than that, but the monks should be able to help you. Thank you and goodbye, kind sir. Now I may finally leave this place.
What can I help you with? What do you know about the Book of Truth? I don't know very much about it. All I know is that it used to be housed in the Lyceum in Moonglow. Do you know where Serpent's Hold is? I hear that Serpent's Hold is just southeast of Trinsic. Unfortunately, there is no dock nearby. You'll have to navigate there yourself. Where might I find Empathabi? It is located in the northeast region of the Britannian continent. Look for the floating glaciers. The closest docks to the abbey are located in Britain. Could you sail me somewhere? Certainly. Where would you like to go? Moonglow. Avatar, your work here for the moment is complete. Now you are needed across the sea. Know this. The moons of Britannia, once a source of great beauty, now feel the pull of the Garfield spell. Avatar, your work here for the moment is complete. Now know this. seeks the Book of Truth. Answer this question first. Are you responsible for the destruction that has recently befallen the land? Yes. Sadly, 
I am. You have begun to see your true nature. Take the book you seek. is clear, Avatar. Be careful on your journey. Do you need provisions? Yes. It's most gratifying that the trial was a fair one. Our citizens must be able to rely on the fact that they can get a fair shake in this world.
Greetings, my son. How may I serve you? What is your name? My name is Brock. I am a monk here in the Abbey. How may I help you, my son? What is this place? This is what is left of Empath Abbey. Before the cathedral in Britain was built, the Abbey was the great monument to love in the world. Unfortunately, the abbey was destroyed when the columns arose. I couldn't bear to leave the old place, and so I stayed when the other monks fled to the safety of Britain. Can you tell me about love? Love is the most wonderful of things, my son. But I cannot explain what love is any more than I can explain why the sun rises or the moon set. Love comes from within and is different for everyone. Open your heart, and there you will find love. Goodbye. Farewell, my son. Greetings, my son. How many... I've come in search of the candle of love. Only the pure of heart may have access to the candle of love. There is a test, 
a most dangerous test that one must undergo to determine if you are indeed pure. Please, brother, tell me about this test. Very well. Up the valley at the Temple of Love, there are three braziers. When all of the braziers have been lit, the flame of love will appear. Any person that is pure of heart will be able to stand in the flame and survive unscathed. The candle of love will then be revealed. If, however, a person is not pure, they will perish in the flame. Now, you must only ask yourself, are you truly pure of heart? Goodbye. Farewell, my son. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my God.